Except then we're going to have German territories back here or Japanese territory right here. Uh, right. One more thing I can do. Okay. You ready for this? This is going to be impressive. Turning the AI off. Allow Diplo. And yes, man. Then I'm going to tag switch to the Soviets. I'm going to make that peace deal with you. Uh Ah oh. <laughs> Yes And then I'm going to tag back to Mexico we're going to turn AI whoops, back on again. We're going to allow Diplo off. And we're going to Yes Man off. Boom. So the USSR, the common turn, should not be at war. No, they are. Ah, sod it. I'm not at war with them anymore. So, Bolivarian Alliance can continue. So then I need to finish this focus, and then we can start meddling with all of those guys to my south. And then we just need to wait for the US to go to war with Japan, which will inevitably, hopefully, happen. And Japan is now actually at peace with everyone. What if Japan can declare war on Germany? And then the Axis Allied War is continuing. Oh, hang on, those are only... Oh, that's an offensive war. Defensive war. Those are war goals. So why are the allies fighting against them? Why are they fighting? Except no they're not. They could be fighting, but I don't think they are. Dunno. Primancy, so America's not coming for us yet. Gives me a little bit more time to get my own forces up and running, which is delightfully kind of them. It's also going to make the ultimate war that much more difficult. But if I can start getting these guys into an alliance with us, then that would be great. And the other thing I could do is start pushing south. Um... Bolivarian Alliance. Increases their relations with us. What does this do? It does give us more war goals. The thing that I'm scared about is if these guys join like the Allies or something. Because then I can I can't finish that war. More to the point if they join the US. <laughs> Alright, so we've got the advanced computing machine. That is really good. Uh, we still have more electronics. That is true. Decryption it is. Ready. 
How many rockets do we have? Oh, we have 400 already. Oh, hello. Add rocket artillery. And that's going to require you lot retraining. Um, rocket artillery and infantry divisions. Just out of interest. How big a unit is that? It is three. I mean, what we could do is like a rocket artillery and then an anti-air. That would require getting rid of two infantry or going up to a 40. And if we built up enough of a surplus, then we could totally do it. Let's get you guys training up a little bit more with that gear. Shouldn't take very long. Oh, come on, Japan. It's 42 now. Jet prototypes. What's Germany doing meanwhile? No idea. Probably trying to beat the uh, Royal Navy. 250 ships versus... 40. Though Vichy France has still got like 75. And Germany is crushing the British in Africa. Britain's going to have very few resources. Well, they still have India, I guess. Venezuela's fighting on. Trotsky had a nightmare that the Soviet Union fell to Japan. Well, he's probably pretty happy that he fled to Mexico, so he could continue the struggle later on. Alright, so we've got the most modern heavy tanks now. We can upgrade all of this. Uh, we could research AT, so we can actually bring ATs into our lines. That's probably the next thing I want to do, so I can at least start building them. Because I want all four of my support divisions to be firepower. To get the most out of that template. And now that we have heavy tanks actually, we can start building some. And you lot should be deployed. Um, yes, I would like to have some of these. Um, we're going to put them to the top, and we're going to stop making quite so many guns. And start building some tanks! And then chromium we're going to buy from Cuba. Because I think that's going to be the safest source. And we're going to build one more. Bolivarian Alliance. President Vicente Lombardo of Mexico's Partido de la Revolución Mexicana has announced that the formation of a new block of nations in the Western Hemisphere. The Bolivarian Alliance takes its name from Simon Bolivar, an independence fighter who helped win the freedom for many of the Latin American nations now joining together in an alliance. Their declared goal is to seek an end to the continent's domination by the old American and European empires by building strong socialist states linked together economically and diplomatically. Paraguay seeks to join the Bolivarian Alliance. Paraguay has recognized that she must band together with fellow socialist republics and strengthen the place of communism in the world, accepting our leading role in the international plight of the worker. The Paraguayan now requests to formally enter this alliance with us. abso freaking lutely If we stand together, the revolution cannot but prevail. Liberate the Antilles would give us a... Oh, we demand the withdrawal of France, the US, and the UK from the Caribbean. Uh, 
We could also try to invite Brazil. Um, do they only get this if they actually join? No. They all get it. It's just Brazil is the only one that doesn't. So we can do this now. Although as a former Portuguese colony, Brazil's history doesn't perfectly mirror Mexico's. They are still culturally closer than ourselves, to ourselves than the vengeful European imperialists or the greedy Yankee businessmen. We should bring them closer to our sphere in order to benefit from mutual protection. And now we have a bunch of decisions to invite them. So what is required? Opinion must be at least 50. So we basically have to move them closer to us in terms of stuff. Paraguay joins the Bolivarian Alliance. Alright, Guatemala. Did you get an invitation? You did. Okay. So this would save me having to invade these guys. Although I would still kind of like to invade everything down to here because I think I can core them. Yeah, I can't core the really southern bits, but I can core everything in Central America. So once we've invited Brazil, we're going to do the interior defense plan and the march southwards. Oh, and our stability is recovered now that I'm not at war anymore. We survived the Second World War, everyone. <laughs> kind of. I mean, it counts. Kind of. You can always kick them out of the faction and invade them after a brief truce. That is true. Assembly line production. You get even more guns and stuff. Um, we could get resource extraction. We could start researching synthetics. We can get concentrated industry, although we're still not really in a position to make use of that. Uh, we can also get more guns more fast, especially because we want to get the 42 ones as soon as possible. Let's work on that. And how's the doctrine going? We're about to finish this off. And then we need to decide between Shokanor and Airland Battle. Considering we're not using planes, it's almost certainly going to be Shokanor. And then we're just going to be doing a colossal amount of damage to the Americans. America's doing escort fighters. Come on, Japan. Jet prototypes will finish soon. I forgot that Vichy France holds on to Norway. That might be why they have such a large navy. Thank you. It is 42. We can get the final decryption. We're getting all of this really fast, which is lovely. You've done training, so you can join that objective. And we're getting a lot of guns. So I think I'm going to reduce my gun production even further in order to further increase my production of tanks. Because we are going to need a lot of those, especially if I want to put one tank division in every single one of my Division de Infanteria, which I do. And for that, I would happily replace an infantry, so our organization would tank. <laughs> Pun intended. We could reduce the amount of artillery we have in these divisions at that point. In fact, what we could do is remove one artillery, add an infantry, then add anti-air. That would be the same division size. We would have more organization, quite a lot more. Anti-air would go up significantly, anti-hard uh, attack would go up, armor would go up a lot. We'd gain a bunch of artillery. 
We would need more anti-air, but not as much as we could have needed. And we need loads of heavy tanks. We're going to need 1,300 heavy tanks for this. That's an expensive template. I quite like this template. I think this is the one that we're going to aim for. And then we'll have anti-tanks as well, and then either... <sighs> well, that's going to kill the Soviets. I'm glad I left the faction. They just declared war on Germany, basically. <laughs> what did you expect, Soviet Union? Seriously? What? Uh, land forts, coastal forts. So that's all heading south. No, we want the interior defense plan. But I, I kind of want to get that as late as possible. I'm going to demand their withdrawal from the Caribbean. I don't know whether we'll actually get that stuff, but hey, we can try. I don't know if that's going to count as a declaration of war as part of the problem. I mean, we're already at war with France and uh, Britain. Many Caribbean islands are still occupied by the imperialist powers who continued their oppressive exploitation of what's been continuous since the... No, this is... Suicidal. No, we're going to get the aviation wo workshops because I really want that heavy artillery bonus. The TNCA was mothballed by the lack of funds during the revolution. I've read that one before. It doesn't, but you get a CB. Okay. So if I did set this formation up just out of interest, I could do that and then I can slowly but surely start moving troops over to this template. And then I don't need to do them all at once. Do we have any Spanish speakers in chat? Like what would a proper name for this be? Be like heavy infantry or tank supported infantry or something like that. In fact, I'm going to name this in honor. Of Cardenas. Um, oh, big boom. I'm pretty sure, Sergei, that means the division of tanks and tacos. I mean, that's a good name, granted. No, we're going to call this the Division de Cardenas. In honor of our great leader who led us to this point. And then I can start flipping units to that template.
It's going to require 40 heavy tanks per unit. Okay. So as our ta heavy tank production gets up and running, then we can start adding more of those faster. Yeah, go ahead and link it. Although, I quite like the idea of naming it after Cardenas and then probably later after that, uh, Bolivar. So, Brazil should also be flipping communists now. They are. Yeah, communism's gonna take a real hold. And the more communists they get, the more positive relations they will have, I think. So, who do we want to have joining in the shorter term? Probably Colombia. So let's start improving relations with you. Maybe Ecuador? Toad AT is done. Let's get the upgrade going. That also means that we can start producing AT. Like so. This is going to be quite an intensive division to actually develop, industrially wise. And we're going to have a lot of artillery available by the end of this. So what I might do is start adding support artillery to these guys. They'll lose 15 organization. They'll gain 30 soft attack and 9 defense. So we'll need 10 experience to do it. So we'll wait. That's fine. Oh, we need 10 experience to add AT to our regular divisions too. So there are things to wait for. Alright, we have a surplus of... Well, no, we're going to need a lot of AT. How are we doing for rocket artillery? We're getting there. I think I can probably pull you back to three factories. And then start building up the tank factory bonus. Ah, thanks. Hanging out. Regimental combat teams. Done. So let's get to the mechanized offensive, which is going to make my many, many tanks better. Damn it, Japan. When are you going to declare war on America? Uh oh. Then again, America may come after us. Because they've gone for intervention in the Americas. Well, I guess that's one way of doing it. Um, 42. Let's go ahead and finish this one off. Well, throughout all of this, our uh, combat ability is improving. I'm tempted to try and get some AA going, because it's going to give us a lot more cover against bombing. Improved infantry equipment, 42. Let's get these. Mendoza RM2s. And then we're going to have a f properly kitted out military. And then you lot. No, not them. Join those guys, ready for the big push into Mexico.
Yeah, into Texas, I meant. I meant Texas. Um, so, we can now invite Colombia and Ecuador. Oh, they just automatically accept, I guess. Colombia has decided to accept the offer for an alliance, and henceforth we shall stand or fall together. Same with Bolivia. Sweet. So we can stop improving relations in those two countries. That's really quite powerful. Alright, let's do Peru. And Bolivia. Because we can't really have the Bolivarian alliance without Bolivia. And suddenly our side is looking a lot stronger. Although, if these guys can't actually get access to us in case of American intervention... Yeah, we're gonna have to do... These. It's true that the Yankees have a numerical and technological advantage over us, but we have knowledge of the terrain, support from the people, and time and space to establish a strong defense. We will bleed the enemy in the deserts and the mountains using hit-and-run tactics, defense in depth, and hidden strongholds. And then in that case, I'm going to cancel you. And we're going to prepare for an attack on Guatemala. And with my overwhelming firepower, we should be able to push that one pretty aggressively. Oh, I have no units. I still gain experience because of my theorist. That's good. Oh, are we going to have the 100 divisions of El Salvador again? They have 23 somehow. Nine factories in that. Nine. That's like a third of what I have. Hell, you have nine as well. This is really industrialized. Ten. All right, I want this land. Is Yankee just the Hispanic way of spelling Yankee? I suspect so, yes. Okay, you're fairly confident of success here. I am very happy to hear it. And we now have sufficient tanks to add to this division. Except I'm not going to. I'm going to be really cheap. Uh, except I can't because I've already spent the uh, power on that. Crap. I need to upgrade both templates now. Well, in time, they're all going to become this one. So we're going to keep upgrading this one. And in that case... When you hit 10, I'm going to add the support anti-tank to you, and then we're going to be adding anti-tanks to that division. Though so I must admit, I am a little bit curious about what that actually... Organization goes down slightly, hit points goes up. Soft attack goes up, hard attack goes up. Defense goes up. Armor goes down. 